Hi, this is Emma Pass, Google Certified Trainer and Innovator and Secondary English Teacher. As English teachers, we know the importance of teaching students the revision process in their writing, but sometimes it can be really hard to accurately see how often and the quality of their revisions. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs with version history in order to track and assess revisions. So here we have an example of a piece of writing that I've asked students to complete within a Google Doc. When I'm asking students to turn this in as a final copy, I'm always going to look at an earlier version to assess their revisions. Now, I could ask them to make two different documents, a first draft and a second draft, and then pull those up side by side and try to look at the differences, but that can be really time consuming. So instead, I use what's called a version history. Version history, you can get to a couple of different ways. Within Google Docs, you can go to File and then Version History, See Version History. But the quickest way is you'll notice at the top of your Google Doc, it'll always tell you when the last edit was made. That's underlined, and when you click on it, it will open up Version History in this new window. Over on the right-hand side, we have our column that shows us all of the different dates that this document was worked on, and it shows you what the document looked at like on that date. So I can scroll through my dates and look at the different versions of this document. What I typically do with students is I have a first draft due date. So we could say that first draft due date might have been October 13th, and then I teach students how to name their versions. So instead of that date, I'll have them click in, and I'll have them title it first draft. After we do that, then we typically go into some instruction about how to revise, what to revise, and what types of revisions I'll be looking for. Then students go and complete that work. When they've completed it, they come back to their final draft, and they'll title that final draft. That's all students have to do in their version history. Then as a teacher, when you're grading these documents, you go into the document itself, you clicked on that version history button, I click on the title that says first draft, I scroll through, and then I click on the title that says final draft. You'll notice here, anything that's been changed since the previous version will be highlighted in green. So Google does that work for you, showing you exactly what a student has edited or revised or changed within that document. So you can quickly assess, did they make the revisions I was asking them to? Did they make enough revisions? And so on and so forth. And that is how to use version history to grade revisions or multiple drafts within Google Docs.